Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from How to Geek, and in this guide video, I'm simply going to guide you on how you can actually create a PSN or also known as your PlayStation Network account. But before we get started with this video, if you are new to our channel, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And without any further ado, let us get started with today's video. How to create a PSN or a PlayStation account In this guide video, we are simply going to learn how we can actually create a PSN account So you want to simply make sure to watch this video till the end So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply open my browser Once you open your browser, it could be any browser which you want to open in the search box You want to simply go to PlayStation.com so make sure that you enter the correct URL, I'm also going to leave this link down in the description box. So go ahead and check that out and simply go to playstation.com. Once you go to playstation.com, first of all, it is going to ask us to select our country or region. So go ahead and make sure you enter your country or region correctly. Once you enter your country or region, it will ask us to fill a form according to everything which we have typed in. Now after you select your region, you can see this is how the home interface is going to look like. Now what you want to do is on the top right hand side of the screen you want to simply tap on the sign in button. As you tap on the sign in button first of all it will ask us to sign in if you already do have an account. But if you don't have an account then at the bottom you can go ahead and simply tap on the create new account button. And as you tap on the create new account you can see we will be taken to this page which tells us to create an account. We are going to simply go ahead and tap on the create button. As we tap on create button, first of all, we are going to simply enter all of our details such as our birthday, our birth date as well as our birth year. So go ahead and simply enter all of the details right over here. Once you enter your birthday, simply tap on next at the bottom right hand side of the screen. And as you tap on next, again it will ask us to select our country as well as our language. So make sure you enter them correctly because it says that items you need to enter vary by the country or region you selected. So tap on next once you read the terms and conditions as well. Now over here it says us to actually create an email address. Now if you already do have an email address, you can enter the existing email address which you want to use. So go ahead and simply enter the email address which you would like to use for your playstation account after that you might want to actually choose a very strong password so go ahead and simply enter or choose a strong password in order for you to be able to create a playstation account you can see that here is the option called password strength and currently it is in three lines which means this is a pretty good mark now if you're not sure whether you have typed in your password correctly on the right hand side you can simply tap on this eye icon in order to view whether you have typed them incorrectly or not after you type in your password correctly, what you can do is simply tap on the next button right over here. And as you tap on next, again next, it is going to ask us to enter our location and so on. So let's see what it says us. As you can see, it says us to enter our location. So go ahead and select your state, your provinces, as well as your zip code. If you don't know your zip code, you can simply Google it. Once you enter all of the details, so simply go ahead and tap on the next button again. And over here, it says us to actually choose an online ID. Now, online ID basically means your username which you might want to use for your playstation account now i'm also i'm simply going to select one from the given options you could go ahead and simply choose any of the options as per your wish once done go ahead and tap on next again now the final thing which is going to tell us is that we actually need to verify our account so first of all i'm going to simply go ahead and tap and agree and create account button right over here and as we tap and agree and create account you can see the account was successfully created so simply tap on ok right over here now next thing it may ask us to actually confirm but before that i'm going to simply try to sign into my account so what i'm going to do is simply tap on next right over here and again simply tap on confirm button as we tap on confirm now it may ask us to actually verify our account so let's wait until you can see it says us to verify your email address so what you want to do is simply open your mailbox I'm going to simply open my mailbox on my phone or if you've already received it on your Windows app as well if you've already received the mail app you can go ahead and simply check your mail you can see we have received the mail from the PSN network now what we want to do is simply tap on this button which says verify now so I'm going to simply go ahead and tap on the verify now button and as we tap on verify now it is going to actually verify our PlayStation account right over here you can see our email address was successfully verified now I'm going to tap on ok and close this dialog box again and close this now I'm going to simply try to sign in I'm going to simply tap on already verified button right over here now I'm going to try to sign into my PSN account so Let's see what it does.
Now, as you can see, after we have verified our account, we have been successfully logged in. On the top right hand side, you will simply be able to see your profile icon and this account which we actually just created right over here. So this was the way on how you can very easily create a PSN account. We hope this video was really helpful and if it did help you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you've got any more questions, queries or doubts, simply also make sure to leave them down in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon in our next video.